Sir Henry Vaughan, uh, also known as uh, King Henry X of English, of England, um, who uh, came to America as a fifth governor of the Massachusetts Bay Colony, right on the frontier of all English, which was very difficult at the time because the, the Dutch West India Company was in Albany and New Amsterdam. Uh, and in his time here, he founded Harvard University um, in what has got to be seen as like a divine miracle, uh, where he took covenant from King Henry II. Um, it, who founded Cambridge University and started a new college is what he described it as he passed the bill um, that ended up being in Cambridge, Massachusetts and he's like well I didn't want it named the same thing and so it ended up being named Harvard University also founded Rhode Island he modernized the British Navy based on a vision he had uh, called shapelessness which was calculus uh, before Isaac Newton um, he was able to build the Navy that defeated the Dutch uh, you know, the British uh, Empire, which the, you know, the sun never sat on, originated from Sir Henry Vaughan's um, illumination of a, um, a ship that was shapeless in the water. And so he happens to be this incredibly important person. When he came to the Bay Colony, he hoisted a flag, an ancient flag, which uh, has been described as the Cross of St. George. Uh, that Cross of St. George has Sir Henry Vaughan Covenant. You know it today, where it's in the Red Cross, uh, where you know BLS trained professionals, paramedics, lifeguards, uh, firefighters. That's part of a tradition of medicine, uh, of keeping the heart going, of keeping the parasympathetic nervous system going, to be specific. Uh, that is a true medical specialty we recognize and lean and expect in the ancient Jagfetic tradition. Uh, you know, in the Sir Henry Vaughan tradition and that Kent English tradition. It happens to be incredibly important because the Kurdic medicine traces to the um, neurosystem of, um, you know, the Kurdic nerves, you know, of the heart. And that's a separate uh, system uh, from the rest of the nervous system of the body uh, that deserves to have a very clear and specific neurosystem defined um, medical specialty. It happens to be really important. Uh, where the enteric system has been broken away from the parasympathetic nervous system and our knowledge of anatomy has changed. Uh, diffusion, importantly, uh, doesn't explain the homo sapien physiology in the Kurdic nervous system. It's a quantum finding, it's quantum physics findings in uh, how our body moves uh, nutrients um, down through our body. Uh, vitamin K2 is so critical, for example, in the placement of calcium in our body, and yet the foodborne parasites uh, that produce vitamin K2 um, are uh, sort of disguised uh, and difficult for our body to discover, which is one of the key problems because blockages um, in the Kurdic system originate from calcium upstream going back in time and the placement of that calcium, which is a nutrient intervened placement, is a solvable problem. It's something that will have to be solved by looking intimately at the neurosystem as how our body's not able to, dis you know, to discover um, a parasite emitting K2 and how our body can become self-reliant in K2, um, which is so important. Uh, myocarditis is also known as inflammatory uh, cardiomyopathy are viral inf infections that can be diagnosed uh, wrongly. Again, the, the discovery that there are parasites involved uh, in things like asthma, COPD, uh, and congestive heart failure is so important, actually, um, in how we um, view primary prevention and how we view secondary prevention. The, the primary care of the critic nervous system is one of the most important things. Um, having that specialty called out all the way back at the medical school and residency level seems so critical where patient compliance is really the key problem uh, which requires motivational interviewing uh, and being able to get behavior change out of patients would be a fundamentally different thing uh, than the current uh, practice of medicine. The parasympathetic nervous system has uh, what's called uh, craniosacral outflow that happens to be fundamentally different uh, than the enteric system, it happens to be fundamentally different than the sympathetic nervous system. 
And so aligning the medical specialties by neurosystem is a more rational way to organize, you know, like residencies, like medical specialties, um, even medical schools. Uh, and the only reason we haven't done it is that the canon of uh, ancient uh, Jagfetic medicine originated from healers uh, that organized medicine based on setting. So we, we have, you know, specialties organized by primary care, uh, by specialty care, you know, internal medicine subspecialties, surgical care, uh, hospital care. And that organization doesn't actually lead to cures. We did have a nice run-up of doubling life expectancy in the last hundred years or so since, uh, you know, our current change in, uh, you know, health um, medical training. But that next level of medical training that um, eliminates all illness and all parasites actually requires a narrowing and focusing and subspecializing down at the neurosystem level because our bodies, uh, when trained to do well, uh, will outperform parasites. Uh, we know that we can win that battle. We choose to win that battle. It's part of what Kurdic medical specialty is meant to do. Uh, leading expect is a quality improvement methodology that's not based on trucks, it's not based on cell phones, it's not based on cars, like a lot of other quality management systems, and it unifies quality and finance. It also unifies all of the medical uh, and non-medical professions out in industry under one uh, medical science, which is so critical to have basically a caste system where uh, tobacco producers, vaping producers, are underneath a medical uh, science, a medical specialty, as are firefighters, paramedics, lifeguards, you know, the good guys. Uh, because see, if we don't put uh, industry non-medicine players under a medical science and under a medical lens, we end up not eliminating uh, things like tobacco and opioids, and we really must. And so we choose this uh, new Jagiellonian law, the Kurdic medical specialty, as one of the offerings in leading expect the quality improvement uh, method um, uh, that I've published in uh, a couple of my books now due to popular demand. We put out a new book, Jagiellonian Law, and the old uh, law of horse shepherds, uh, which is instructive. You know, we've been um, an important part of. Uh, you know, despite, you know, our tribe is like three or four million people the whole world over. Um, when you look in Testament, you see writing of horse shepherds and writing from horse shepherds. Uh, some of the things about the Agalonian law of Kurdic medical specialty include the uh, biological alphas of species. And, you know, it's a, uh, and I elaborate that on this in the Agalonian law. Um, there's a physiological accepted accounting principles where there are model organisms. You can think of a flock of birds. You can think about a, um, a flock of uh, horses, sheep, and um, the alpha pattern that it's described well by E.O. Wilson and other observers. Now, there is in nature a basic, like a model organism uh, that defines the physiology. One of the key findings uh, in this um, you know, Kurdic uh, medical specialty is that diffusion doesn't actually explain our physiology. When, when you learn in medical science or in uh, medical school, for those of you that got to medical school, that diffusion is the engine of morphology, you have to really look at what diffusion is. Uh, if, if our bodies never had some um, method, some mechanical way, some, you know, biological alpha, some model organism defining a diffusion, right? The, the ways that our body ebbs into those entropies uh, to create new organs. Uh, because, you know, there's a uh, changing of our uh, species by um, biological alpha. And that happens to be uh, old law, that's Jagiellonian law, that's horse shepherd law, uh, that you change the flock from the model organism. Um, that's how morphology happens. And, you know, there's biological alphas at the top of each species the whole world over. And so that happens to be an important part of Kurdic medicine is that uh, diffusion happens to not... Diffusion is a... The, 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 the non-finding that diffusion could explain everything and then the rest is just genetic mutations um, is something that has to be contested because that idea hasn't resulted in cures in Kurdic medicine. And so it's looking at, uh, you know, the physiologically accepted accounting principles of morphology. Again, the bookkeeping of morphology. Uh, the bookkeeping of speciation. 
you know, the parasite reduction in some of these uh, Kurdic uh, diseases uh, requires four or more uh, we call blocks. I elaborate on that in my book, uh, Metabolic Topology. It's so important. Four natural blocks is the ancient, uh, you know, uh, Jagfetic knights and kings ways of uh, fighting against uh, natural and supernatural means. Um, uh, why does four matter? It comes out of queuing science, uh, which some of you uh, could reference in telephone queuing math out of uh, Agner Erlang, out of the uh, Copenhagen. Uh, Denmark telephone company, you know, over a hundred years ago, they discovered that you really need four or more uh, switchboard operators to be able to gain scale. And that comes from an old body of um, queuing knowledge, uh, of um, its factorial math. Uh, and that factorial math is actually so important because the method of disease eradication requires four systems of blocks four switchboards and that that happens to be part of why we haven't eradicated disease now why does it require four well there there's the quantum finding that you know these um, you know infectious diseases in the critic nervous system um, have there are quantum persistence because see our body should tag them and bag them I mean our, our, our biology knows how to tag and bag parasites and mark them as foreign uh, and don't. And again, our, our other explanations uh, haven't resulted in cures. And if you look back to 2014, life expectancy has actually waned in America. And so it's time for us to have these new medical science break out as part of leading expect. You know, these medical specialties would be atop of the you know, caste system of, uh, you know, those that do work relative to the critic system, you know, from vaping and smoking all the way up, you know, through paramedics, firefighters, you know, lifeguards, you know, and folks like nurses. And so uh, we want you to join us uh, with our patient diagnosis compliance program, uh, which we've done in the field uh, for, you know, wow, uh, back since 2008. Um, and uh, we've done patient diagnosis compliance work all over America. We have this fundamental belief that we have the best physicians the whole world over and that we don't have uh, the most patient uh, compliant um, the whole world over and we can change that. And that's a new kind of medicine, it's a new kind of medical specialty and that's what we're trying to build at, in, in the leading expect uh, jagfatic movement in the old Hippocratic tradition of horse shepherds. So join us at Profi.me.